Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to take a look at Abel's theorem. What is Abel's theorem? Well, if we have a homogeneous second order equation like this, where we have y double prime plus some function times y prime plus another function times y, and of course equal to zero since it's homogeneous, then the Ronskian of the two solutions to that equation, and let's assume that y1 and y2 are the two solutions to that equation, then the Ronskian is equal to some constant times e to the minus, that's the exponent, to the exponent minus the integral of p of t dt, p of t being the function over here in front of the y prime term. Now we have an example there waiting for us, so we'll show you how that works, but that's a very important theorem that we'll be able to use later on to help us find some of the solutions to differential equations when they become more complex. So here's an example, so we're going to show you how to calculate the Ronskian of that particular example to show you how this theorem works. Well, first of all, you can see that the example is not in the correct format. So we have to divide everything there by a t-square to get it into the correct format. This can then be written as y double prime plus t cubed divided by t-square is 2 times t times y prime minus, and that's already 1 over t squared, divided by t squared becomes 1 over t to the fourth times y equals 0. So now we have this in the correct format, where this here is p of t, and this here is q of t. Now Abel's theorem tells us that the Ronskian of the two solutions equals this. So let's first find the Ronskian of, well, the Ronskian of this. So we can say that the Ronskin of y1 and y2 must equal c times e to the minus integral of p of t, which in this case is 2t. We put in 2t dt, and then if we integrate that, this is equal to c e to the minus. Now the integral of this would be 2t squared over 2, and those 2's cancel out, which is equal to c e to the minus t squared. And this would be the Ronskian of the two solutions y1 and y2. Now, another way of looking at the Ronskian, the definition of the Ronskian is the Ronskian of two functions, y1 and y2, is equal to the determinant. And on the top row, we have the two functions, y1 and y2. And on the bottom row, we have the first derivative of these two functions, y1 prime and y2 prime. This is equal to the product of these two, which is y1, y2 prime, minus the product of these two, which is y2, y1 prime. And that has to equal c e to the minus t squared. Now later on, we're going to show you how to use some logic and some tricks in order to use this kind of principle and Abel's theorem to come up with the solutions to differential equations that look like this and also some that are non-homogeneous. So later on we'll show you the, the methodologies and at least now we have a theorem that gives us another inroad to solving some differential equations, second order ones, that otherwise we wouldn't be able to solve. So keep your eyes on this one and we'll be able to use it later for some interesting techniques of solving differential equations.